Hello, it's McGannon Connor. Welcome to my channel. This is Elder Scrolls Online. The second weekend, the big weekend. There's going to be millions of players online. Um, this is my character. If I can find our stuff. This is the map. This is the map of Daggerfall. <coughs> I'm a Breton sorcerer. I'm level seven, which I got in the last um, beta session. So I'm carrying on from there. Got various quests underway. <coughs> and I don't know why. I don't know why in the first one that he, um on the settings wise it doesn't let me set to um 1920 to 1080p so how many times I select it and when I go back in it's uh, still set at 128720 <coughs> so it looks like this video will be low res than my normal ones still got to keep the file size down um, so yeah this is the Elder Scrolls Online when I first played the last uh, beta I didn't like it much but eventually after over the weekend it really grew on me so whatever it will run up through Daggerfall <coughs> this is the game I played, Daggerfall was the game I played way back when really sparked my interest um, in them days everything was sprites and uh, the dungeons were 3D but like the town of Daggerfall was all sprites but now it's um, all in beautiful beautiful 3D so it looks really I mean the attention to detail is good in this game I must admit <coughs> you can uh, swim in the game but uh, only to some degree you can't swim underwater. I've got to take a hit if I jump down. <coughs> there we go. Whoa. Now I'm playing as a sorcerer. As you, can see, you can swim, you see. Kind of a, a, a balked, uh, <laughs> balked, balked side stroke, but you can't go underwater. So it's pretty much like Lord of the Rings. Um, so everything's going to be set on land. Um, lighthouse. So you see, it's beautiful. This is Daggerfall. It's not like the Daggerfall I remember. Um, but then that was in the what 90s, late 90s. I can't remember when it when it came out. But it was a long time ago. We're getting good frame rate here. We're getting good 40 frames a second. So <laughs> considering the amount of. Uh, Graphics on screen, all the polys and everything, all the architecture. It's well optimized. This game. It's running better than Guild Wars 2 does, anyway. That's for sure. But then now again, I'm only 12.8720, so I'd like to get it to uh, 1080p. But there you go. Can't seem to do it, and it couldn't do it in the last one either. Every time I set it, doesn't matter what I did, it would not set. So it's a, it is a bit like Guild Wars 2. There are kind of events I think happening around, and um, there's going to be t they've brought in a new system or something about um, I don't know for be for want of a better word rifts. Um, so th these events will kick off or something. Something on the lines. I mean, the questing I think is quite good in this game. Has it really? Righty ho. So these are all NPCs. You can see all the player characters running around. You can walk. He says. <laughs> Supposed to be able to walk, anyway. Like in other Elder Scrolls games, you can do your crouch thing, and then you get like a little eye thing. Um, like in Skyrim, 
was the Fighters Guild. I've already um <coughs> it was a quest for the Mages Guild, I failed to complete it, I kept getting killed. So once I level up a bit, I will have another go at that uh Mages Guild quest. Well, at the moment we'll just have a look around. Uh, give you a look at uh, what's going on. Uh, is this the Mages Guild? No, it's not. I'm talking to characters, you get the usual uh, Older Scrolls type. Store. Drum of health. So you get the usual. It looks pretty much like an Elder Scrolls game. You can sell all your stuff. Wireless mantle. I didn't know I got that. So I've not really looked at my inventory. I just booted the game up. It's crashed a couple of times already. Um, I'm playing with an Xbox controller with X padder. So as I normally do. It looks really good, even in uh, even in twelve twelve eighty that I'm running that it looks higher res than that. I don't know if it is ten eighty p. According to Bandicam, it's not so. Um, and every time I go back into the graphics menu, it says twelve eighty, even though I set it to ten eighty p. So. We'll just have a look over here. <laughs> there's, pla there's tons to see in this game, it really is. It's massive, isn't it? Uh, let's see if bring the map menu up if I can remember how to do it. <laughs> um, so we're in Daggerfall. There is a way to get outside map. Can't seem to do that. Remember which controls are what? Um, map, group. So you got the icons, whatever. Obviously, whatever um, thing you bring up. So there's my character, my inventory. It's all. It's really good. It's well neat. Um, shows you abilities, so you, it's um, it is the same as Guild Wars 2 and um, Secret World. Well, you've only got so many across the bottom here. You can see um, I've got a summons pet because I'm a sorcerer. I think I don't think other people have this. Let's have a look. There we go. So there's my little pet. Everybody's got these running around. You see that one there? I think that's the next uh, level up. You get a clan fear pet. Mine's a little goblin type one. So we'll go up here. I see there was a little one I've just been trying. Because it's not, it's not been that stable. Much more stable than the last time I played, but still not. Um, it's already crashed twice on me. So, <coughs> obviously, it is beta. Can't expect that much. Right, the light looks good. Very impressed, as it was the first time. It's all very professional. Very professional game. Well done. It's got more of an RPG feel than uh, other MMOs I play. Must admit, it's got more of a single player type feel to it. I think these are NPCs, and he's dead. So you've only got a few spells at the bottom that I can uh, cast. The main, uh, that's a block. That's with a mouse button, but obviously I've got it bound to the um, controller front bumper 
just my basic spell, which is pretty much like Guild Wars, you have a basic spell on your uh, left or right mouse button, and then your other spells are on numbers. So I noticed there was this little mine just before, I thought I'd just do a run up from the um, Daggerfall, let you have a look at the beautiful sights, and then uh, see what's in here, because I haven't seen in here. Um, there's obviously a quest related to this. Not sure if we're recording or not. <laughs> It often doesn't record on uh, level changes. Theamon Mine. Now, so there's other players in here. This is what you get with this game, though. there's tons of players. Oh, they are buddies. I can't remember how to fight. Red Rock Bandit, two gold. Art of Tigal. Can't remember what R is. Where's my little summons? So this is that dungeons run. You get a lot, a lot of players in the same dungeons as you. Let's say <laughs> that's the same bloody feet was spawning again. Follow this person about level eleven. I don't know why I always play a sorcerer. We'll follow this person, they seem to be able to kick ass pretty good. There's some kind of mine going on here. It looks really good. It looks very Skyrim. Inside areas with trees and oh, they're goodies as well. So I've got no quest for this area, so I'm just <laughs> I'm like a numpty, just giving you a show off of what's going on, really. Mainly my stuff's lightning, I don't know why, I can't remember. <laughs> but, uh. I like the way it looks, it, it looks and it feels good when I'm playing it on the controller, everything feels tight. I like my players off to the left a little bit, I like that. 
I don't like playing in first person. I've tried it in first person. It's to me, uh, you know, uh, these are buddies as well. I'm going down. Yes. So when you die, your equipment uses durability, so it doesn't lose durability normally, I don't think. So. So I've gone back to the start. So this is how it kicks off in, um. This is the kind of thing we're looking at. I have to make a mental note the next MMO I play. Where's he gone? The next MMO I play, I'll have to play as a, a sword, sword guy. This is where I got killed. And if you like me, I like. I mean, I just like exploring everywhere, and doing stuff. So my number two spell is that one, the lightning. Number three is like an invisibility type shield type thing. And my number four smell, I don't know what sure that does at all. <laughs> but it all plays well. When you die, you're not penalised that much, you just go like most MMOs. Everything does respawn, so. I thought they put collision detection. I've got a roll as well. This is not rolling, I don't know why. Dodge roll. There was a bit of a problem last time I lagged between me bit pressing a button. See, something else has just spawned again. Everything just keeps spawning. When you're on quest type things, it um When you're on quests it tends you tend to go into a um an instance and stuff's level to your level. Targeting seems to be done uh, automatically. Whereas in um, Lord of the Rings, I'd select a target and attack. Here, it seems to be done automatic. Your pet seems to attack. It feels good. You, you do get a sense of power with the spells and everything. It feels kind of cool. Oh, leveled up to level 8. There we go. And I gained a skill point. 
So I'll make our way out of here because I've got no quest for this area. If I can farm my way out. Here we go. Let's ignore them. Oh, he's got two pets. I suppose I'm not going to be able to do that under attack. So we'll exit. Takes a while. It's pretty good fun. I like it. So we'll have a look at that, um, the wrong button. Totally the wrong buttons. <laughs> so I've got one skill point. Now, unlock at Dark Magic rank. Oh, I'm a Dark Magician. Rank 12. I can't even remember what I am. In case, cast time. Immobilizes enemies in front of you for four and a half seconds. Crystal Shard. So I've got classes Dark Magic, and I've got Daedric Summoning. Daedric Summoning. Summoning, rather. Uh, so I can, uh, and then I've also got Storm Calling. So we'll go with this one. Um, can I put that up? Unholy knowledge, purchase ability. Let's have a look. What's it say? Reduces abil ability, magic, and stamina cost by three. One skill point. No might as well do that, I suppose. Morph ability. Select an ability that you wish to morph crystal shard into. Doesn't seem to want to let me do anything with that. Um, passive ability. While using summoning abilities, player receives ten percent max magicka when one when one their summoned creature is killed. I don't make that's not very really good English. Player receives ten percent max magicka when one their summoned creature is killed. Uh, in storm calling, capacity increases magic of regeneration by five percent. Requires one skill point. Have I? Hmm. Unholy knowledge reduces ability, magic, and stamina cost by three. I think we'll just go with that. Unlock. So an unholy knowledge. So I've used my skill point. I've got three sky shards, and I can't remember what they do. Now I can also, um, pretty much in like Elder Scrolls fashion, you can, um, so I've got destruction stuff, I've already purchased these. Um, restoration stuff, I've got nothing in restoration, so I can't heal myself. Also you can put points in your armour. So if you get bored of what you're doing, you can just, and I think you can respend your skill points or, um, get them all back and spend them in something else if you wanted to. So it's pretty comprehensive, very interesting skill system. I've not seen any, um, I don't think I've seen any night, day cycle. don't know, I don't know if I have or not. Can't go in there. So there is a walk. Must be button for walk, but I just seem to be strafing, I don't know why. So yeah, there's this is the second beta. A massive this is the massive beta. Millions of players on one massive server in America, because I was on the EU server. Um there's the bank. I shall go in there, have a look, have a look around in the bank. So, like other MMOs, if you wanted to um, put stuff in the bank, 
you can and then normally you can use that to um, pass things between your characters and stuff mm, that's locked I think it's got a good look about it this game it runs well submit I'm getting 35 frames in here it doesn't seem sluggish at all Twenty twenty five frames in this public area, so that's that's good. It's acceptable. <laughs> it's not blinding but it runs fine if you've got a good graphics card and a good CPU, you're gonna run okay on it. Um So yeah, it's my first little look at um Elder Scrolls Online. This be a weekend. I'll be looking for some quests and um, uploading some specific stuff. So I normally do. Sp I don't do. Yeah, I'm not going to do a whole playthrough of my journey this weekend. You know. I mean, if if my upload was faster, perhaps I'd do something like that. But as it's not, my upload to YouTube is pretty slow. 200 megabytes an hour. So average video is 600 megabytes, three hours just to upload a bloody video. And then I've got to crunch it down first in the first place to get it 600. Um, but yeah, I think it's cool. But is it cool that it's going to be? Um, you're going to want to pay up front 50 pounds just for the um, basic edition. Hundred pounds for the collectors, and then on top of that, you got nine pound uh, subscription a month. It's too much for me, I, I think. And I can't, um, I can't justify. Even though I like the game, I can't justify spending all that all the time. You know, I'd be good paying that just to <laughs> just to have online subscription, you know, I've got better things to spend money on, like the, my real house and stuff like that, you know, real world sh shit going on, but where, it, well the main reason is, because there's so much other stuff I can, you know, I'm playing Lord of the, Ring, Lord of the Rings, I've paid, hear you, hear you. I don't know, uh, what have I paid on that, I've uh, paid about £70 on content, all the content packs up to uh, Helm's Deep, so I've got all that to play. <laughs> and all the other games you get, and, and now this one is one in a, a subscription. And that's one reason I don't, you know, not, I've not wanted to uh, play things like World of, uh, World of Warcraft, or because it's all subscription based. And I can get what Four says about um, you know you're supporting the game, and it's not um, you haven't got to worry about the game company getting into trouble and not supporting the game, laying off staff and stuff. I suppose yeah, I could see his point from that. You know, they're, they're attentive to the game and they're perhaps probably producing content all the time. So with this game, they're giving you everything all in one go. So you've got the whole world of Elder Scrolls from top to bottom, and then obviously they'll be producing content within that world. So it is uh, very tempting, but uh, at the moment we'll see if they make it cheaper or just decide to go buy to play. If it was buy to play, fifty pounds, I'd uh, definitely buy it. If it was just subscription. I will buy six months and see how it went. Stay out of trouble and we'll all get along. Because that's what a lot of people do with subscription. They um they pay for so long and then they get bored of it. Like you do with any computer can you get bored of it. Then after a, you know, another six months they think, Oh, I wouldn't mind playing that again and then they come back to it. This game you buy in and it's subscribing. So so let's buy from Meganakine. My lovely looking character. She looks lovely. And signing off. Cheers, thanks for watching.